Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys how to install Docker Desktop uh, on your Mac. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows computer to demonstrate this with, but the installation method should be pretty much the same, more or less. It's super straightforward. By doing this, you'll actually be able to run Docker on your own laptop or desktop, whatever you're running, uh, and you'll be able to actually even run Kubernetes, at least in kind of a test dev capacity, so that you can kind of play with the commands and get a feel for it. So let's get to it. First, you're gonna to go to docker.com. Once you're at Docker, you're gonna use this link that says products, and you're gonna to wanna to download Docker Desktop. From here, you can select your operating system, whether you're on Windows or whether you're on Mac. I want the stable version. Edge is basically a newer version. So uh, Edge is less tested. You know, it's, it's not the complete, you know, defined stable version yet. Uh, so I typically go with stable. So I'm gonna hit download that. Now with the download complete, we're gonna go ahead and launch our DMG file. And just as we would with any other Mac application, all we're gonna do is drag Docker over here into our applications folder. Now with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and close this, get this out of my way. Now just to make sure that Docker is installed, we're gonna to try to run it. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to my launch pad and select Docker. And you'll see here this little icon, this is Docker and it just stops spinning. So when it's, when it's doing that little kind of building uh, animation, that means it's starting up. If I select Docker now, I see Docker desktop is running. The final confirmation of this is really by going to the command prompt. If you type in Docker and hit enter, you should get a result and I do. So Docker is up and running. Now, the one thing I'll also show you that I mentioned in my other video is you'll see here Kubernetes is starting. I wanna make sure that that's enabled because Previously, I had Docker enabled and Kubernetes was not running by default. So if Kubernetes is not listed as starting here or running, then you can go to preferences. Then you'll wanna head over to the Kubernetes button and you'll see here, Kubernetes is enabled. As I mentioned, when I previously had it installed, this was not checked. So if it's not, I'm gonna go in here and check it. And I'm only saying this if you're following along in the Kubernetes survival series videos. If you're not, then you don't have to worry about this. Docker will function just fine. This is only applicable to those that are actually watching my full series and following along with the Kubernetes steps.